how there is this topic of trusting the AI black box versus do not trust it. What is your viewpoint on this? The right person to ask ultimately is the customer because they're the ones who, who use it and they've answered this question for us already. And this has actually uh, greatly affected, uh, influenced our product uh, development. Um, so initially we thought it would be sufficient to provide uh, the, the black box answers. Do this, uh, publish this much, uh, write about this topic. This topic's doing well. Um, this old content that you created last year, you, want, you should distribute this again because that topic is back in fashion. As it turns out, anybody with a budget, a marketing budget, doesn't want to know just what they should do, but also why they should do it. So a, uh, I would say a lot of our efforts over the past year have been to kind of take that, that pyramid, um, whether at the top of the pyramid is the, uh, the decision or the recommendation, and to allow the customer to go down every, every level that led to that decision, so they can validate it themselves. We can, you know, at the bottom of that, um, of, of that hierarchy or the pyramid, the client, our client, can see every piece of content that was created by their competitors or by publishers in their industry uh, that had performed well on that topic. And so they can validate uh, and they can see with their own eyes the evidence that they would need themselves in order to reach the same conclusion. So we see our product more as a decision support system that takes away a lot of the legwork or the, 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 the hard manual labor, distilling those insights. But at the same time, we provide access to the raw data that led to those insights. And in uh, many or perhaps even all cases, uh, we think a content marketer or content marketing strategist would come to the same conclusion.